Okay guys, so in another short uh, Inkscape tutorial, I want to show you how uh, you can uh, do the trace bitmap. Uh, use the trace bitmap tool in Inkscape to get a uh, another version of a pattern. So you first you'll import your image. And you'll want to embed it. And then you can resize it however you'd like. Uh, hold control, click an arrow, and drag to scale it. And then you can zoom in with the scroll wheel. Uh, control, and then scroll up. And then you'll click your image and go to Path, Trace Bitmap. And then it'll bring up this other window. And there's a couple different ways you can do it. There's the color quant quantization, quantization. And then after you click that, you can hit Update. And it will give you this, and you can invert image and update, and it'll show you this black outline, and that's not a very good way to do it. Another way to do it is edge detection, which is the one I usually use. And if you update it at first, it gives you this, and you want to invert it back. Update, and it'll give you this kind of, it looks kind of crappy right here, but if you lower the threshold, and update it. It darkens it quite a bit and I think you can even go down to zero. And then if you hit OK, it'll apply it over here. And it does take a few seconds sometimes, especially if it's a really detailed image and sometimes it even freezes it up, but it usually kicks over. There, now it's loaded over into this. So you can close this. And now you'll see if you grab the back image and move it, it has made a black and transparent image. So if you click on that, it should be a path. If not, yep, see it uh, highlights all those nodes, but we don't want that. Just go back to this, click on the image, and then you can go over here to your stroke paint and turn it on. And you'll see that darkens it up quite a bit. And then you can go to stroke style and increase the width of the stroke and it will really darken the image up and you can play around with that till you get what you want and this would be good for um, image scroll saw patterns or um, wood burning pyrography whatever you want to call it um, this could be handy for all those things but again it's just another pretty quick and uh, simple way to make another form of pattern for woodworking or making or whatever you're doing so I hope this was useful and we'll see you guys in the next video.